Hi, it's Stephanie. I'm going to be talking about the do's and don'ts to um, packing for college. Um, I know some do's for this area is a raincoat, um, an umbrella, and a rain jacket because it does tend to rain here a lot. It does tend to rain more in the spring, but there are some definitely rainy days in the, um, the fall. And bring all types of clothing when you come in the fall because it can be very cold one day and then it can be very warm the next. I remember in October one year we had snow. So and then, you know, that's just a fall month where you wear light clothing, but that's not the, that wasn't the case then. So it was interesting. Some other do's would be like snacks. I know if you have like a late night and you're studying really hard, the G&T's closes at 12, so and you don't really want G&T's that late at night. So it's always good to have snacks like granola bars and maybe like like fruit snacks or pup tarts probably more healthier things than that but um, I know I have granola bars some don'ts that you can't bring to campus are you can't have a microwave a coffee maker I believe you can have a Keurig though so if you have a Keurig you can still get hot water so you still can have oatmeal and I know that's a really good snack to have because sometimes you like it is running out the door if you have especially even 8 a.m. or you can get the nice little, they're like little this big and they're like oatmeals to go. They're really good. Oh, it's, so snacks, I'd say snacks are pretty important for that. But make sure, you know, if if you want to bring a microwave, I wouldn't suggest it because the RAs can write you up. I'm not going to say any more than that. Um, but I have a fridge, uh, so that, I, that could, that's a do. You do have a fridge because... You know, you can store cold drinks, water, you know, anything like that. It's important to stay hydrated because it helps you focus and, and it keeps you on the ball. La do's or laundry detergent because you need to do your laundry. Uh, for the freshman dorms, uh, the laundry room is located at the bottom of Bow. Fun fact. And then all the quads have their own set. Make sure you have your laundry detergent, your dryer sheets, and all that stuff. Some other do's I would say would be like rain boots. <laughs> you need those too. I forgot to mention that earlier. Also, like um, posters and pictures. I know I have quite a few pictures of my family because I actually don't live around in this area, so I don't get to see my family as much. I do get to see my mom quite a bit during field hockey season, but that's about it. So I know it's really nice to have like pictures and stuff like that because, you know, Sometimes when you do get a little homesick to look at them, you know, it, it makes you feel good. And then, you know, you want your room to be, like, cool looking. You don't want it to be plain. So posters always make it, like, exciting and welcoming. Some don'ts, definite don'ts would be candles. Do not bring candles. Just bring air fresheners because candles will get you written up. Um, I don't think, I don't really know any more don'ts. Unless they're, like, obvious ones, like... Like, don't bring lighters, all that stuff. I mean, you can bring a lighter if you do smoke cigarettes, but if you do bring, if you do smoke, you have to be, like, I think it's 20 feet away from the buildings. Like, sometimes the burning, like, scents, you can't bring, like, the incense. That That's a that's a definite don't, because you, you're smelling up your whole building, people might be mad at you, especially if they don't like the flavor or smell, whatever you would call it. Uh, so I would say I like to do the do's mainly because it's it's kind of hard to preference, but like just some main ones are like proper clothing and then school supplies. Like definitely bring school supplies, but um you like you can definitely bring it. But there also is a Walmart and a Target by here, so it doesn't hurt to like also you know wait to get those and then get them. But since um everybody moves in like a day to like two days before, it's probably better just to bring your like enough to get you through and then. For like, uh, if you do run out, you know, Walmart's around here, so it's okay. So like, don't freak out. Don't like pack like, like 60 pencil cases, like cases of pencils and stuff like that. No, you can pack like maybe like one thing of pencils, one thing of pens, four notebooks, you know, folder, stuff like that. And if you run out of pencils and pens and stuff like that, it's okay. Like, Walmart's right there. So that's like, that's definitely do. Um... Bring all your hygiene stuff, you know, the showers are located in your buildings, like most of you probably know. I usually get, like, big things, like, they're pretty, like, they're, like, really big, like, um, shampooing things, because you want them to last for quite a while, because it is quite expensive, um, and, and you're going to be showering every day. It's not like at home where your mom can just go get them for you, no, you have to, like, get them yourself, and, like, 
if you don't have a car, you should be prepared. Um, I think it's Tuesdays and Thursdays. They do like a shuttle run to Walmart. But those are things to like remember and another thing to I like to have like a fun thing to have like it's not a do or don't like I think it's really fun I had one and I have a chalkboard now it's um, sticking like a, a whiteboard on your door and you know like so you can write like fun things on it and, you know like so many days so fall break or like hi welcome in like fun things like that to introduce yourself it's always exciting like I know at my door right now I have a big Navy football poster because that's something I like so that no, it lets people know like oh she's a big Navy football fan so like hey maybe I can go have a conversation with her about it so stuff that's gonna make you welcoming and stuff like that I'd say another thing that you, you can have it's it's kinda like preference or if you wanna get one would be a TV um, I know I, I do have a TV Sometimes I just don't use it. Sometimes I use it to hook up to my laptop to have a bigger screen. You don't necessarily need a printer. We do have print, like we can print things on campus. We have the Tech Center in Burnett and the bottom room in Old Main. And I think Swanson and uh, the other buildings have printers. But like the Tech Center definitely has like a big printer that you can do all your stuff on. Definitely no problem with that. I mean, it's good to have a printer, though, especially if you do need to print things in color. If you need to print things in color, you have to go to the library and you do have to pay. So that's kind of like if you, you know, it, it's, it's like a do or don't. Like It's kind of like it's your preference for that. I like to throw in things that you can preference or you don't want to preference because, you know, so everybody's a little different. But they just like, I hit the big don'ts like candles and microwaves, coffee makers. You can have a Keurig that's it's kind of like a coffee maker. It's a weird coffee maker. And, you know, it's just, you know, it's going to be exciting to be here. And, you know, you might pack a little too much. I actually say, like, one more don't would be to actually pack too much. I know I did it my freshman year. I packed way too much stuff. I didn't leave space to, like, if I, when I picked up things along the way, like, I went on spring break, I went on Christmas, I picked things up, brought them back to my room. I didn't have room to kind of put things into storage. So kind of leave a little space or like have a bin that's maybe like half empty with stuff in it still, but you, you'll be ready to, when you have to leave, pack all your stuff up. I mean, that's that's really what my preference is with things and what I think is, if I hit the big, the don'ts I hit are things that are rules at our school. And that's, that's, that's pretty much it. Like, I believe that, you know, it's your preference if you want it, what kind of clothes you want to bring and all that stuff, but I would say dress smart, and I probably would say another do would be your athletic, like, bring athletic clothes, because there is a gym. Um, we have a, we have a student gym. Uh, it's real, it's, it's nice. It has, like, a track upstairs, like, an indoor track. It's probably, like, a quarter of a mile. I'm not actually sure, but, you know, it's always good to stay fit and on campus, because, um, when it gets really cold, it, it actually helps if you are in shape, because you're not breathing as heavy. So, it also doesn't hurt because you don't want to, I preferably didn't want to gain the freshman 15, but I also play field hockey here, so it kind of helps. But, um, if you have any specific questions, like other do's and don'ts, just let me know, write it down, or email me. I'll gladly answer them for you. Till next time.